What's up, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Home on the Range. Where it is very snowy today. There is a, uh, you know, I mean, it's Minnesota. Today, we are going to be doing something with rifles, but not the kind of rifles that you would think. Today, we are going to do some pretty sweet stuff with BB guns. We were uh, looking online, you know, with all the new possible gun laws coming up. Um, we we're looking at new fun and inventive ways to keep you guys entertained. So we looked online and we found these sweet babies. So, um, this is a DPS uh, SBR. All of these, we all of these rifles we got off of Air Gun Depot, and uh, Air Gun Depot is pretty sweet. There is all kinds of really cool things that you can get off of there. Um, obviously, these these are uh, these are .177 uh, caliber. Uh, BB guns and uh, the cool part about them is they're all full auto. Full auto. Full auto. Burt, burt. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so we got, we decided we'd get, we'd get a Thompson and, uh, you know, Carissa wanted an AK, so we got our first AK. Not that, whatever. <laughs> anyway. So they're pretty cool. You just load the BBs right in there. And then sweet part about this is you don't have to pump them. I mean, you have to cock them, but um, check this out. CO2 cartridges just go right into the magazines. So you just load two in here and uh, you'll get about, I would say, um, you know, we haven't had these on the range, but everything I've read says that we can go through three full magazines before we've got to start thinking about um, reloading, reloading the CO2. So, uh, you know, I mean, they're all super cool. I mean, the weight to these things is pretty amazing. The way that they, I mean, everything just looks. It's like pretty much exact replicas. Yeah. It, which is really impressive. I mean, they've got—they've all got charging handles. This one, absolutely. Um, we shot this one, um, and you actually have to—you actually have to use the charging handle to put the first round into the magazine, into the uh, into the chamber. So uh, it came with some decent little sights, but you know, we had these Magpul sights sitting around, and we decided to slap those on there and. You know, that way we got some, some nicer sights on there. I mean, this is, this is the way the rifle came. It came just like this. Comes with the little, uh, little suppressor end on it. Um, you know, again, magazine drops same way. Magazine's completely loaded. Here's the, there's two, uh, two CO2 cartridges going there. And uh, as you can see on here. No pew, pew, and burp burp. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we decided we were gonna try different uh, different kinds different kinds of uh, BBs today. So we ammo. got <laughs> yeah ammo. <laughs> so we got these um, these big packages of six thousand are super cheap. I, I don't even think they were. Um, I don't want to say they were even fifty bucks. Oh my gosh! They I, I don't even. Really I, I think they were only twenty bucks, honestly. I think the Hornady ones were like five bucks or something. For... Yeah, but then we then we got the Hornady um, Black Diamonds, and like I said, they're they're all .177 caliber. Um, I actually looked for a .22 caliber in the um, in the full autos and uh, couldn't find them. Unfortunately, I did find a 
Uh, I did find a semi-automatic pellet gun. Unfortunately, I can't find tanks for it uh, that are that are cheap because the, the the stock comes off, and then there's a big there's a big huge CO2 tank that screws in there like a paintball gun, and they're incredibly expensive. So um, I've been kind of trying to shop around, and I and uh, unfortunately I didn't didn't have enough time to uh, find some before the show today. So that's okay. We've got these three sweet ones, and uh, do you want to show them the cartridges we got? Oh, these? Yeah. I mean, there's other ones yeah, out the there. Yeah, CO2 so. cartridges. Yeah. So, um, so when you're online shopping for these things, it's going to suggest uh, CO different uh, different amounts of CO2 cartridges. And obviously, the more you buy, the cheaper they are. Um, so. Air Gun Depot. This is not a sponsored video either. They didn't pay me to say that, and uh, and nobody's paying me to shoot these things. But yeah, we had a great experience so far with them. The shipping was incredibly fast. Oh my God! It and was everything so fast. was boxed, super secure. Yep. Yep. And I mean, for just having some fun, I mean, you can get that ammo for just so cheap, and the rifles and just weren't that expensive i just thought it would be a great addition to our arsenal yep and the cool thing is is uh you'll see when we fire these things that they are incredibly lifelike incredibly lifelike so i'm going to show you how these load real real simple real real simple there's uh two puncture points at the top and obviously like i said it takes two canisters and pay attention ladies and gentlemen because i did not the first time so um i we loaded this one up first <clears throat> and uh i just st stuck the co2 cartridges in there well there must be there must be a one-way valve in here or something like that i mean you see very clearly where it says first he ignored that yeah <laughs> <laughs> totally didn't even look at that so make sure make sure uh, whatever whatever the rifle says make sure you follow that instruction because I, I wasted one <laughs> wasted a bunch of air it didn't waste the whole thing but so then you take your little allen wrench that actually is in the magazine comes in the magazine now, I don't know if this is going to, like I said, I don't know if there's a one-way valve on here or not. Maybe it'll blow this one all the way. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's find out together. Well, there you go. Now, crank it down pretty decent, but you don't, like every other video I've ever shown you, when you're putting stuff together on a rifle, you don't have to crank it down. This includes these. You don't have to crank it down so tight that you're never going to get the thing off again because you're going to want to take this off again. And you're going to want to do it out in the field. So. With frozen hands. Yeah, with frozen <laughs> hands. Well, it's actually not that cold here in Minnesota today. Yeah, it's in the 30s. So there you go. That should do it. I'm actually kind of surprised I didn't hear it. Pop. Okay, well, let's find out. Okay, so the Allen wrench is in there. Just comes and sits in, sits right there. And I hope I got these CO2 cartridges right, but we'll see. We'll find out. And it loads incredibly cumbersome. Just like an AK. Oops. <laughs> what? I was on your chest. So there's the snow, just so you guys can see. Some of you may have never seen snow before if you've ever lived in some place. So, yeah, it's not that exciting. <laughs> All right, let's go it's, shoot this. It's terrible. Let's shoot. All right, let's give it a whirl. First time's a charm. I'm going to say I do semi auto first. Get a little. Start for it. Huh. 
that shoot something? Oh, it must be burst. So it's three burst mode, I guess. Three burst and full auto. Well. We set it backwards. You hear it pinging? No. I do. Oh, I do? You yeah, do? you're hitting it. Oh, okay. Okay, well now I want to go to full auto. So I'm going to go over to this guy. That would be a little more impressive. This is the, these, these are the first rounds through this thing. We know nothing about this rifle. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fun. That's awesome. So it's probably, oh, you're probably out. Really? No, I didn't go all the way. I stopped. Let me see. Oh, there we go. It stops for you. Nice. That's pretty <laughs> sweet. <laughs> I like did it, it. Did it have any uh, recoil? No, not at all. Yeah, not like, I mean, not you, like the AR. <laughs> you can, like, I mean, you can tell that it's doing something, but no. I mean, a kid could do it easy, so. Okay, you want to try it? Yeah. See what we just realized? It's got a hold open, too. So, last round hold open. Sweet. That's pretty cool. See? Hey, pops shut. Like a real gun. We're gonna go refill. We got some cans. We'll shoot some cans with it. Yeah, just wipe them out. Doesn't do anything, hardly. They're going in them. <laughs> Hold your fire. S safety. going in them. Yeah, it's just, you know, different than what we're used to. <laughs> yeah. It's much different than Tannerite. <laughs> that was actually my last shot that I ever, that I made was that Tannerite shot before today. Oh yeah, when we blew up the, yeah. So if you want to know what we're talking about, go and watch our Christmas special. <laughs> Wipe them out. Let's uh let's do some old school next. I have wanted a Tommy gun my entire life. <laughs> this is even though it's a BB gun, this is still like a dream come true to be able to actually hold a real Tommy gun in my hands, you know? These things, man, you can't even touch these. They're they're so expensive. So, um. Just that classic looking, you know? Yeah. I, you know, it's just like the 7.6 Pew. I love all this wood furniture. Yeah, it makes it a little bit heavier, but God, it just looks so classy and beautiful. And uh, I think this is plastic, but, I don't know, it's all plastic. So this one is going to load a little bit differently. Let's learn together, shall we? We seem to do that a lot. <laughs> you know, here's the thing. Just like I told one of the viewers, um, commented on another video, you know, said I seem to know a lot about guns. Well, I do know a fair amount about guns. I am not in any way, shape, or form am I not a gunsmith. But the thing is, the thing that's beautiful about guns is that that takes two cartridges. is that um, once you've torn one apart, you kind of t have torn them all apart. So this has... You just put them in there and then... It's That's pretty sweet, huh? Show the t uh, inside too. Cool. Yeah, so I don't know why it's got another 
I don't know if that's a puncture valve. I don't know why there would be a puncture valve on the... bottom side, but... Hmm, whatever. Let's put one in and see if it... Oh no, it's definitely going to take two. Yeah, I guess it looks like there's... Looks like there's air inlets there. Huh, okay. So you put it in opposite direction? Yeah, so you put it in like batteries. There's a, there's a puncture valve at the top. Don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Yeah. So there's there's a there's a puncture pin, I guess, at the top. So you put this one in face down. Put that one in face up. I hope I'm not making a fool out of myself by doing it this way and then that's not the right way. Oh well. <laughs> but you guys will all get a good laugh out of it, huh? We're pretty laid back. At my expense. Go with the flow. So what do you do with these when you're done with them? You but, just throw them away. So they're not like refillable or anything? Nope. So, um, you, well, here, let me take these out. And actually, this I'll show you something too, because somebody that hasn't dealt with CO2 cartridges might get spooked the first time they do this. So it's going to release some gas. They're not 100% empty. That's cold. Don't put your hand there. <laughs> but Home on the Range didn't tell us that. <laughs> That's right. Disclaimer. <laughs> I'm not a safety expert. <laughs> okay. Okay. The heck was it? Did. Yeah. So again, oh. you see, see how it was all white spitting out of there? It's gas, I'm sorry, it's liquid that that turns into gas. So, so don't get it on your hands, it's cold. And these things will be cold. These cartridges themselves will be pretty cold. So you see, it just punctures the top of the canister. Sounds like we had some more life in that. That's still you, going. Well, yeah. But it wouldn't be enough much. to actually function not, it. Yeah, it's got, you gotta have, yeah, see. Yeah, so there's the <laughs> liquid turning into gas. Yeah, so that's a lot. Yeah, but it's not gonna do you any good. Hmm. Cause it's not, there's not enough in there to cycle the weapon. Hmm. And always put your Allen tool back where it belongs. If you don't put things back where they belong, you lose them. Ooh, this one, <laughs> this one, this one actually didn't didn't come with an Allen wrench. At least not that I've seen. Maybe there's one on it, it was somewhere. On, it was on the thing you just used. What's that? Wasn't it on the thing you just used? No, I just took that one out of the AK. Oh, okay, okay. I think it came with one. I don't remember. Could be in the box still. Yeah, could be. Okay, well, let's give it a whirl. Locked and loaded. I'll let you shoot this one first since you've wanted a Tommy gun your whole life. Okay. <laughs> Are you excited? You kind of look like it. To shoot the Tommy gun? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, see? You should have never crossed me. <laughs> <laughs> that is so fun. Does it even make? I'm going to go look. Does it even make any? Oh, it does. Just little guys. I wasn't sure if they'd be strong enough to even make a mark. <laughs> This one has a lot more kick. Does it? Yeah. 
Didn't you see it kicking on me? No, not, I was watching the. I was watching the um, target. But. Yeah. How's the sights? So this one doesn't have a hold open. Um, well, it's got it's got a really small pin sight or a or a top sight on it. Your choice. Is it the one that you can? Oh, maybe that was the SVR where you can move it to the bigger hall. Oh yeah, that's the SBR. Yep. Okay. That that's got. So this is super cool. Check it out. I don't know what a real Tommy gun is like, but look at the magazine release. Look at the huge, over-engineered mechanism for the magazine release. Push it up with your thumb, and it slides out. Can you explain those? So yep. So this is this is your safety. I suppose I should flip it to safe. I mean it's empty, but um, so. Uh, no matter if it's full or empty, always make sure it's on safe, never point it at anybody. Um, single shot, full auto, obviously. I mean, just, uh, just flip those bad boys around. They're uh, old, cool. old style with, uh, that's super cool. Yeah, this whole bolt carrier. I mean, look at the size of that bolt carrier in there. That's all from here to here is the bolt carrier. So that thing kicks back. Yeah, that's like the thing that was so much impressive with me when we first started looking at these. Is just like truly how. Oh, oh that's great. Similar they are uh, to. That's probably going to be thing. good. That's probably going to be good for the function. Maybe we should <laughs> go to the SVR for a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it was it was cool. It's cool, and it they have all been shooting well. So, okay. Okay, you know what? No, let's not switch to the SBR. This will tell you how good it is. Okay. I'll throw some shooter lube on it. We'll call it a day. I called it shooter lube, but it's not shooter lube. So some hoppies, a uh, little gun medic, some, uh, some good stuff for the, you know, it's really nice to keep on you on the range. Again, I'm not sponsored by these guys, but it, this is just really good stuff to keep on you on the range. Just in case you drop your entire magazine in the snow. You know, this is going to, uh, you know, it's got a little bit of oil in it, and lubricants and stuff like that. So um, it's going to keep, it's going to keep everything from rusting. It's going to push that, that, uh, that moisture right off of it. So um, I just squirted a little bit into the end, squirted some down the lead, squirted some in the back there. Um, maybe it'll mess it up. Maybe it'll fix it. I don't know. Um, but uh, we usually keep this stuff around for, for our other firearms because don't always get a chance to clean them before you come back to the range. Um, so you just squirt a little bit of this in there and I guarantee your weapons are gonna keep working. So I can't honestly say um, which ammunition is better. Um, the, they both cycle just fine. Uh, now I'm back to, I loaded the, uh, Crossman. I loaded the Crossman, uh, copperheads back up in there for this time around. Um, I do think, I don't know, maybe it's just me. I feel like the Hornaday feels like it has just, just, you know, the minuscule amount more weight to it. So, I don't know, Hornaday maybe Hornaday were a little bit more expensive. Maybe I'm right, maybe I'm wrong. Let's see if this, so I got, so I said before I've got two sight pictures on there that I can choose from. I've been shooting through the hole. Have you been? Yep. So I'm gonna try from the top sight. Maybe it'll, I don't know if it makes a difference. Oh, yeah. Helps if you cock the thing, huh? Oh, look at that. That's good damage. Nice. <laughs> that seems to uh, definitely have more power than the AK, is that possible? I don't know, maybe. 
Okay, so super cool. We didn't have the camera on because we thought this is never gonna happen. But check this out. So Carissa, I so I said I said I think I can shoot it from here, and Dan said, "Why don't we find out?" Yeah, and I did. Out. <laughs> wow. Hang on. That's crazy. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're probably losing gas now. Hit it. Hit it. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. <laughs> on to my favorite platform. Probably load a gun before you. Where you fire your radar? That's it. That was fast. Yeah, thirty rounds goes fast in this thing. That was thirty rounds. Wow. You can see I think that felt really quick. Ding, 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 ding. Okay, well, we have put some rounds through this one, so. Maybe uh, I think it jammed up because I'll just spray a little shooter lube in there or, or uh, gun medic. My fault. How do you flip that again? Mm -hmm. I like the bigger. Oh, it just comes down. I gotcha. <clears throat> Those sights are nice. Plink. Plink. Is it cycling? I'm hearing a tinging. Yep, I wanted to do. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Dang, that goes off fast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it went. Well, obviously, that, that stuff works. Got a medic. Yeah. Well, everybody, that is it for today's episode of Home on the Range. We had a blast with you guys today. Uh, make sure that you go over to Air Gun Depot and check out all their uh, their sweet BB guns, pellet guns, and uh, they even have some rifles that fire arrows. I mean, you can hunt with these things. You can hunt an elk, or actually, there's there's a YouTuber that I watched uh, take down a bear with with one of their uh, rifles off that off that uh, website so head on over there and uh, you know buy up some really cool stuff because again ATF comes knocking on the door they ain't gonna take your BB guns right <laughs> so uh, thanks everybody for watching make sure that you hit the subscribe button make sure you share the videos make sure you like the videos and definitely definitely comment on the videos we love everybody that comments on these videos we love talking to you guys all the time and we had a great time with you guys today thank you so much for watching see y'all next time